the United States of America, India, Bharat, our country. They are so similar yet so different. And in today's video, we are going to analyze something special about these two countries. Now, before I get started, let me tell you this. Whatever happens in the United States of America or whatever happened 50 years ago is going to happen or happens most of the time in India. So they are more or less like a 50 years apart brothers. But that's about any other sector. But when it comes to IT sector, United States of America and India are going hand in hand. And that is why when it comes to bio-IT, the job trends of United States and India is more or less similar. So in today's video, we are going to analyze the job trends in bioinformatics in USA and India. And we'll try to compare, contrast and find out where you can get maximum job opportunities, but at the same time, analyze whether working in India with a bioinformatics degree or a bioinformatics skill set is going to be useful or you should go to USA and even if you go to USA, what kind of jobs are happening, what is the trend, all of that right in this video. What exactly is driving the demand in India? Now, the first thing is here will be India has an increase in demand in roles of bioinformaticians, bioinformatics scientists, data analysts, computational biologists and data scientists specializing in bioinformatics. Now companies such as Elucidator, Dr. Reddy's, Biocon, Syngene and various other MNCs are actively hiring bioinformaticians. Now these companies are hiring for areas like bio curation and bioinformaticians who also know coding. Positions in the government side will obviously be GRF, SRF, then scientists or in teaching such as bio biology or bioinformatics subject matter experts and medical coders with bioinformatics expertise. These are the things which is emerging. But more or less the growth in Indian bioinformatics scenario is clubbed with the growth of bioinformatics in the United States and Europe. So basically, India has always been the IT back office of the not universe, Earth. Now what happens is whatever is the hard work, United States scientists will pass it on to India. So right now, the growth in genomics research in USA, drug discovery research in USA, and personalized medicine research in USA is fueling the demand for bioinformatician professionals in India. And that is similar to the IT industry. Same trend, just that the name is bioinformatics and bioIT. Now, companies are leveraging AI and they are leveraging machine learning to analyze vast biological data set which runs into petabytes. They are looking for people who have multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary approach and they have critical thinking, out of the box thinking approach. And that is what Indian companies are hiring and looking for in bioinformaticians in India. And it, this is largely being driven from the USA market, right? Now coming to the skills. Now, what are the skills in demand right now? So they are looking for bioinformaticians who have proficiency in programming languages, such as Python and R. You should have knowledge of next-gen sequencing data analysis, multi-omic data analysis, machine learning techniques, deep learning techniques, and also be able to think out of the box, combining technologies and coming to conclusions which has never been done. So that's where the, these are the skills in demand in India currently. Like I said, USA and India are the mirrors and th there is no gap anymore. Earlier it was like a 50 years gap in between the technology of United States of America and India. Now it is not there thanks to the internet. So we are seeing more remote working opportunities of US companies who are hiring Indian professionals to do their data analysis. So there are small startups who cannot, uh, cannot afford organized companies in India. So they are hiring freelancers in India. So that's also remote job opportunities are also available in bioinformatics. So your client will be in USA and you are working in India. You are running in dollars, spending in rupees. And that is why I always say learning bioinformatics and AIML is going to be a huge boon and boost to your career. Now with this, we come to an end of the India side. Now we'll focus on the job trends in bioinformatics and AIML in United States of America. And at the end, we will compare also between the two. So to start with, I have already told you that whatever growth you are seeing in India in the field of bioinformatics is largely driven by the 
United States of American research, right? So the USA has a robust infrastructure already in place. They are looking for bioinformatics professionals. There are thousands of openings coming up every day across roles such as bioinformaticians, data scientists, computational biologists, and bioinformatics engineers. So all of this you are seeing in the United States of America. Now there are academic institutions also such as Duke University, Stanford University, which is hiring research focused roles while private companies are focusing on applied bioinformatics and industrial bioinformatics. Now this is something you should know. There's a difference between industrial bioinformatics and academic bioinformatics. We'll do a, another video probably in the future. But for now, companies and startups are looking at how can we apply bioinformatics into our research. Well, academics are more focused on the core bioinformatics principles. Okay. Now, what is the salary expectation in India as well as USA? Let's compare that also. So, in India, the salary starts at 6 lakhs per annum, that is 50,000 per month salary. It can go up to 24 lakhs per annum, which is 2 lakh rupees per month salary for bioinformaticians with a senior level of expertise. So, that's the uh, salary range in India. Now, when we come to USA, we are seeing the salaries ranging from $81,000 to $1,28,000 annually for various bioinformatics roles and the senior positions can go up to $500,000 also. So that's where the salaries are currently in the bioinformatics and AIML domain in USA. Now coming to the key sectors which is driving the growth, one thing you have to be very clear that it is actually the AIML which is driving the growth but when we talk in the biotech terms we always say precision medicine, drug discovery, uh, genomic data integration, healthcare analytics, these are the key growth drivers, epidemiology. But actually, more or less, it is all coming out to be the same thing, which is AIML, which is boosting the bioinformatics growth in USA. Now, startups and established firms are investing heavily in AI-driven computational biology to accelerate drug discovery and personalized medicine solutions. Now, skills and expertise which you require to get a job in USA will obviously be first gain experience experience in India, publish papers and work on some international projects, which of course Biotechnica is providing you and have strong programming skills such as Python and R and have experience in cloud computing, prepare and publish your portfolio on GitHub and develop your expertise in NGS data analysis, multi-omics integration, special biology analytics and AI ML applications is also essential. Now, the best part of whether you are in USA or India for a bio IT job is a flexible work arrangements. So many organizations today in USA are offering remote jobs. So you may be any part of the world. You can do this job. It's a hybrid work setup. Sometimes you may have to go to office also. And they're doing this because they want to attract the top talent across the globe. And that is where the bio IT is nothing less than IT, just that there is a bio part involved. So you are applying the bio knowledge to develop bio IT skills and implement and apply bioinformatics. Now coming to the comparison. When we look at India, more of the growth is being driven by United States market, but it is more into the data analysis part. So it's not into application of bioinformatics into particular experiment, but more or less it is like, okay, they are dumping the data to us, we are analyzing, sending back, sending back the report. So that is where we are looking at. But of course, you will need interdisciplinary skills. Companies are seeking candidates with both wet lab, which is experimental biology, and dry lab, which is computational biology and bioinformatics AI ML experience. Now, AI ML experience is becoming the core of everything because ultimately this is going to dominate the drug discovery and clinical research also. Moving forward, the shift to personalized medicine and oncology is attracting more bioinformaticians. The shift towards individualized treatments on genomic data is driving demand for professionals in bioinformatics. There is a global collaboration happening in between labs, in between universities, and in between startups. And that is also driving bioinformatics growth globally as well as in India. And there are, there are more startups getting funded in bioinformatics as we speak compared to earlier. So that is leading to more job opportunities because if the companies have more funds, obviously they'll spend more funds on hiring people. So this is where the bioinformatics job market is traveling in USA as well as India. It is bound to grow 
six figures in the next uh, CAGR or in the next um, decade. But one thing I want to highlight here is when was the last time you checked the internet startup becoming successful? Well, that was 20 years ago when the internet started, right? The same way, when a new field emerges, if you get inside it faster, if you follow the trend, you become the king of the trend. And that is what you have to do. Today, if you invest in bioinformatics, AIML skill set, 10 years from today, you will be a senior scientist. But by that time, this field also will be saturated just like your wet lab. So you will be like, I'm not getting job later on because you don't have the skill set even if you have the skill set you won't have experience now here is the secret to get all this i'm going to give you three points which you have to register in your mind the first is learn the skill you don't need a degree you just need bioinformatics skill the second publish paper build a reputation the third work on international projects gain international work experience and all these three is being provided by Biotechnica with its bioinformatics and AIML internship. All details are given in the description. Go ahead, check it out. And if you want, there is a WhatsApp number also. You can click and WhatsApp us and get all your doubts clarified. Otherwise, you can always comment below and I will guide you. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Until then, keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.